everybody, it's Avril from Midgetage Yoga here. Are you all well? Good stuff. Yes, it is me. I've just had all my hair chopped off again, that's all. <laughs> it had gotten far too long. So, are you having a nice half term? I know it's been rather windy and wet today, hasn't it? But hopefully you've found something to be able to amuse yourself or maybe some crafting or have you watched a film, read a book? I wonder what you have done. One thing you could have done. Each day this week we're posting a creepy Halloween pose for you to do. Today it was moonlit trees make crooked branches whilst you are balancing. Go on and have a look. See what you could do. So, it is Halloween at the end of this week, but I thought today and on Wednesday, we'll just read some really nice stories for half term. Hmm, might do some creepy ones at the end of the week though. <laughs> so, if you're all ready, if you're in your pyjamas, already snuggly, ready to have a good night's sleep, then I shall begin. Here we go with Get Busy, Dad's Back. Oh, it's by Stephen Waterhouse. And what a clever gentleman. He's also done the illustrations. That's very clever, isn't it? <laughs> so what are the illustrations, can you remember? Yes, of course, the pictures inside this wonderful book. So, are we ready to start? I think so. Get Busy Dad's Back by Stephen Waterhouse. I'll be sure to show you the pictures as we go through. Here we go. One morning in the Penguin Igloo, Mum was quietly knitting. Pip, Pilly, Penny and Poi were playing, painting and reading. Suddenly they heard footsteps coming towards the front door. Would you just like to see inside the igloo so you can picture it in your mind? There you go. Although it's an icy igloo, it does look rather cosy, doesn't it? I think so. So, they heard the footsteps coming towards the front door. The door burst open and there was Dad back from his travels. Mum and the baby penguins were so pleased to see him. Hmm, he looks a little French to me with that beret on. What do you think? Hmm. <laughs> Dad had been away for a long time. They'd missed him and couldn't wait for a great big hug. Have you seen the size of these little penguins? They're quite cute, aren't they? <laughs> they rolled out Dad's map of the world so that he could show them where he had travelled. <gasps> wow! Look at this! And can you see the arrows where Dad has put all of the places on that he has been to? Wow! Did you notice something else in that picture? Can you see all around the edge of the room? Hmm, those look distinctly like presents to me. <laughs> Start here. I started my journey here from the South Pole, said Dad. Dad pointed out all the wonderful and exciting countries he had been to. Oh, so you see, this book's a little bit like a game, isn't it? It says start here and it shows Daddy setting off from the igloo. Taking an aeroplane. Oh, wow. It, that looks like Australia to me. Oh, surfing. Then back on another aeroplane to India. Another aeroplane. 
New York, that one looks like. Oh, shall we carry on in the book and see if he tells us about all of these wonderful places? Oh, wow. Here you are, Pip. Look what I got for you when I visited Sydney in Australia. I thought they were presents, didn't I? Little Pip opened his presents. I painted Sydney Harbour because I really love the colour of the water and all the small boats, said Dad. So look, he's bought a wonderful model of Sydney Opera House. And then look at this beautiful painting. Dad is an artist, you see. Here you are, Pilly. Look what I got you from Agra in India. So here are the presents all wrapped up. Oh, oh look, she's opened them all. Oh, Pilly opened her presents. I painted the Taj Mahal because the decoration and detail are so beautiful, said Dad. So can you see the model here of the Taj Mahal? And here is Dad's beautiful painting. Here you are, Penny. Look what I got you from Moscow in Russia. Penny opened her presents. I painted the Church of St. Basil because the colours on the rooftops are just magical, said Dad. Oh, so he's quite right. Can you see here the model of the church? Look at all those colours. And here is Dad's painting of it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh. Here you are, Poi. Look what I got for you when I visited New York in America. Poi opened his presents. I painted the Empire State Building, said Dad, because it is so tall. I went right to the top and everything. Look tiny down below, said Dad. So here is the model. Can you see the Empire State Building? Wow. Dad's picture is really good, isn't it? Sure is. Here you are, Mum. Good job he didn't leave Mum out. Look what I got you from Paris in France. Ooh la la. Maybe that's where he got his beret from. Mum opened her presents. I painted the Eiffel Tower because this is such an interesting shape, said Dad. So here is oh, the big model of the Eiffel Tower. Not nearly the same size though, is it? And here is Dad's painting. Oh, it looks like that's in the sunset too. Look at those beautiful colours. Wow. And then they made a fun city of their own. They used cardboard and lots of paint. Wow, look at this model that they have made. It looks like it's all over the floor of the igloo. <laughs> then, after listening to more of Dad's stories, they all fell fast asleep and dreamt of their own adventures. Happy dreaming, penguins. Wow, look at that roaring fire. And all of those little penguins are fast asleep. Oh, what a lovely story. So you see, the reason I chose this book for this evening was that with this week upon us of half term, and it doesn't look like the weather's going to be fantastic, I thought maybe you could look through some books, maybe find some pictures that you really liked of places far and wide. And maybe you could do some painting or make some models. Do you know that loo rolls and kitchen loo, kitchen roll tubes are absolutely brilliant for making models? Mm. So I thought that might be quite fun. And this might give you some ideas. And don't forget our Mitch Titch book as well, because Mitchy travels all around the world. So you might get some ideas there too. <laughs> so don't forget though, every day this week, there is a new spooky pose on our Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. You can have a look on there and try a pose a day. Try and perfect it each day. Okay. And we'll be back on Wednesday. 
and I've got one of my favourite really funny stories for Wednesday evening. So take care everybody. Have a nice couple of days. Little lion. <laughs> and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. And as usual, love you all to bits. Night night everybody. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.